Welcome everyone to yet another one of the Shrine Guides here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. And in this video, the Miam Agana Shrine, also known as Miam Agana Apparatus. This shrine is located in the Nakluda area, in the Hatena region. To be precise, in Hateno village. Let's go find this shrine. It's easiest to start at the Hateno Tower. Go east and take a look with your Sheikah Slate. There, in the distance, you can see the shrine already. Place a pin and that's where we're going. Just jump off and use your paraglider to glide down. It's a long way down, so in the meantime, I can tell you that if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, because that will help with the discoverability of this video a lot. And when you're there, hit the subscribe button as well, so you won't miss my future content and upcoming guides. I also stream games such as Zelda on Twitch. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below, so feel free to jump in and let's talk about gaming. Make sure that when your stamina wheel is, you know, empty, that you land safely and not the way I did, because that hurt. Now just continue walking the path and try to avoid the fighting monsters here at the left side. They are attacking two travelers, so you don't want to get involved in there. And now you're in a Hateno village. Nice. Just go straight on. To the right here. And there we have it, the Miam Agana Shrine. Let's jump in, shall we? To you who sells foot in the shrine, I am Miyamagara. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trap. Miyam Agana Apparatus, Miyam Agana Shrine. Walk to the right here, up the stairs. There's an easy way to complete the shrine and a even easier way. And there you can see a control device. Use it and now you can see a maze with a ball. This maze is controllable with your controller. So what we need to do is to guide the ball through the maze with your controller. But it's more difficult than you thought. So the easiest way is just to turn around this whole thing, make sure the ball lays still, let it go to the left, launch it, and that's the most easy way. Make sure the platform is back in its original position and it's tilted a little bit towards you, because there's a treasure chest that we need. Then get out of that controller thing and the ball rolls exactly in the hole where it's supposed to. Jump off to the tilted part and use your paraglider to glide towards it. And now what we need to do is just easily find ourselves the way to the treasure chest. And there we found it. Open the treasure chest and a nice bow is in, with a strength of 10. Use it or leave it, it's up to you. Now continue, go to right here, right again, and here at the end we can just jump off, use our paraglider again, and we're safe back at Shrine Ground. 
Let's go down here towards where the ball went inside of the hole. Go to the left. Up the stairs. Through the door that opened. And there's the monk. Go stand before him and press A. Your resourcefulness and overcoming distrust speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit of... Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you! And we finished yet another shrine. Well done! I hope this was helpful. If so, leave a comment down below. And uh, hope to see you all in my next shrine guide video next week coming up. Guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, See ya.